Hi and welcome to the next instalment of our playthrough with Survival Fountain of Youth. Now the weather still against this. It's been like this for a few days, isn't it? It's um kind of English weather. Alright, well let's um we were going to get our drying rack, skin drying rack in place, and we were also gonna get this tanner work bench bench in place. So if we just look at E, we are short of the Anna and we need to cut down a tree to get a split log. This one, we are just short of liana, or rope rather, which we use liana to craft. So blueprints, we need four rope, craft. And we also need a log, so let's do that. So this is now full, we may as well just drink. Because we do have two coconut flasks there, but they're both full, so. We don't need any more water there, so cut down. And this will then give us the split log we need. Now we have the saw on us, I think. Yes, we do. And work. Alright, so now we should have everything required. So E, place resources. E base resources. So we just need a hammer and we can do both. Finally stop raining. Okay, level three crafting. Build. Alright, done. So now what we can do is we can take the um, animal tendon that we got from the pig we killed yesterday and also the fresh hides go to the Tanner workbench. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of this guy. He's kind of hanging around. So we go to the Tanner workbench and we can cure the tendon thread. 26 minutes. But we can also dry the hide. Not dry the hides. It creates processed hides because um, it, when we want to dry a hide we have to use uh, processed ones. So let's process these three. Two hours and 33. Okay. And raining again. So now we have the processed hides in our inventory. We just go E, add. And we just put a processed hide there. And it will be dried within 18 hours. I'm just going to use this box for the hides for now. goes there, wooden hammer goes back there. We have a spare split log that so we can put that away along with the saw. And then it's just a question of what we want to do. Now one thing we would really like to do is go get some obsidian. But to do that, if we just go crafting and then tools, we are going to need a stone pickaxe. Now we can make a long handle. But we are a little bit short of stones. We've only got one small. So what I'm going to do today, just looking at the time. Well, today's pretty much over. Um, so that's kind of awkward. Now that's finished. I'm trying to think, what can we do, given that we really don't have much time left in the day? I think... Um, Probably just sleep through till tomorrow. Let me see, is there anything to cook? Not really. I guess we could cook up the green bananas. We got two meat to cook. We do have some cooked food which we can eat. So yeah, let's do that. Let's just cook up what we've got. A little quick. Let's make sure we've got some sticks. Let's just add a few and then ignite. Now we could, we were able to cook something with the bananas, weren't we? So we may as well do this, given that the uh, bananas would just go bad anyway. And then we had some meat to cook. This will get our cooking skill up, even if we can't eat all this, which I don't think we'll be able to do. Okay, so now E, extinguish. So 
so we can put that away. Get this back into our one slot. May as well just drink our fill, given that um, it will evaporate anyway. And looking at the time of day, it's night time, so let's just sleep through. So finally, leaf ended. So I'm just thinking about our stone situation. Uh, we've got one small, one large. So I think what we're going to do today is just head up the beach. And uh, we'll get a survival point out of this, at a minimum. But we're also going to get a lot of stones. So let's do this. So our food and hunger is good. And we're not going all the way up the beach, but uh, we're going far enough that we can um, start on one of the paths that goes up the mountain. And in a perfect world, the weather will hold so that we can actually do some mapping up there. Because as we've seen the last couple of days, every time we've tried to do mapping, uh, the weather's been too poor. So I'm going to leave these coconuts where they are for now and uh, I'm going to pick them up off camera on the way home. Otherwise it's just uh, stopping the cart, picking up a lot of stuff and then restarting the cart, stopping, starting, etc. But the one thing that we have here, if we saw, uh, we've already used up all of the dates that we had in the dryer. So we need some more to put into the dryer. That coconuts, I guess we could take these and potentially make no suitable cutter. Okay. Well, given that we're gonna be picking up a bunch on the way home off the floor, I guess we can leave that. Yeah, let's just keep going. pick up these two um, on the way home as well. So where we're going is you could just see that rock formation sticking out into the sea ahead of us. there are multiple paths up into the mountains and one of them starts and ends right there so all we're going to do today is just go up there grab a bunch of stones fill our cart up and then head home then once we're at home we'll have enough stones to continually make more tools And then what we're going to be thinking about doing is going to get some obsidian. You can hear a dog on our left. Okay, let's park here and just unload. Oh, I brought the torch, didn't mean to do that. So if we head up here firstly, is just a fishing spot but it does have this thing here a piece of a native's map and yeah that's one of the ones that goes into this slot here bunch of skulls here but if we just jump off here you have this thing called snake potion at the bottom now as far as i can see we can't pick up any bones here which would be useful let's just have a look up here i don't think so No, there's no bones to pick up. Because we are going to need bones for a couple of things later. Oh, well, we get some swimming XP out of this at least. So one thing you really want to watch when you're swimming is um, your stamina bar there. Because if your stamina bar goes to zero, you just sink and drown is uh, not great. Now there are some crabs here. 
which is bow skill. And we're pretty close to the next level. So let's take this opportunity. There you go, level four. So what that now gives us, if we just look at third icon down and go to shooting, increases damage from shooting by 15% and then 20% in next level. But next level is 1000 XP. That's a lot of crabs. All right, stop there. Um, green coconut stick. All right, that wasn't actually what we came for. This was one of the reasons we came up here, and that's uh, this flashing thing here, which gave gives us another survival point. Song of the punishment of the gifted. All right. More coconuts. So what we actually wanted apart from that survival point is to head up here. Go as high as we can, do a little bit of um let's use the spear for this one, I think. Come on. So let's just hope the weather keeps so as we know, the higher we go, the greater the distance we can map. I'm just going to keep going up here. I can hear another dog. I can actually bring the cart up here. We could have done that. So there's a pile of stones there. Large stone there. There are a couple of resources we could actually go for here. Yeah, let's do that, seeing as we're up here. I think it might put us into a fight with a bird, but that's fine. And a dog. Okay, where's the dog? Yeah, we're going to get um, dive-bombed here, so let's just get ready for this. Because we're close to a bird's nest, so we may as well... I didn't plan to come up here, but uh, where is he? Okay. Kind of glad we did come to think of him. Because the bamboo could come in handy as well. Well, it will come in handy, but um, okay, here he comes. So what we would like off this guy is just the feather. I think we're going to leave the meat and the egg. We are going to be upgrading to obsidian arrows relatively soon, so this is going to be useful. Anything else we want up here? Um, actually, I'm just going to keep going. This wasn't the plan, but um, mushrooms, not really. No, let's make a day of it and come up here some other time. I think for now we can just take oh let's map before the um before the weather goes bad again all right so as we can see there's uh, massive stones here which we can mine with a pickaxe bunch of stones here a bunch of stones here st stones here and here yeah a lot of stuff up here we can come back for but um yeah Days kind of flipping away from us again. So let's um, just grab this bamboo anyway. That ends our axe. Okay, we left some bamboo behind, but we can live with that. Oops. Yeah, don't run into that stuff because it does damage.
So the plan today was actually just to come up here for stone. I kind of didn't plan to go that far up and get the bamboo, but... Let me see, 23.246. Okay, so we've got enough for that. Can we carry all this? 47.2 just. Okay. So not a bad day, actually. Uh, some unplanned for bamboo, but lots of stones. Because once we fill up the cart, then um, we still have another pile to do down here. And then we've got stones for days. And as we saw, um, all we have to do if we want a lot more is just to head up here. And we will go up there relatively soon, so I can't get any more right now. Now, we neglected to pick up that dog up there, but I don't think... I think that would have just been excess weight. What we really want out of... or rather, what we really wanted out of this trip was that survival point there. All the stone that we picked up. And raining again. Unbelievable. Well, I guess if we needed the rain for thirst reasons... Um, There's another large stone there. And then we've just got that pile of stones up here. What time do we have? I think we're just about to get home by nightfall. So quickly, just before we go home, let's just um, look at the bamboo and look at the blueprints of things we can do. So we can make a palm juice collector, but all we need to do is make a coconut flask, um, a liana, and one of these, and this will give us a survival point. So that was worthwhile, I think. Plus we can make a bamboo bandolier, and that will give us two ammo slots. Not that we need additional ammo slots right now, but um, something we can make. So I'll see you back at the cave. I'm going to stop off and pick up those coconuts on the way, but that's basically all we're going to do. I just got back at the uh, cave and looking at arranging the inventory. So I just dumped all the stones we picked up here and pretty much cleared out the, um, the cart there. I think I'm just going to put the bamboo in here for now but we do need to um firstly we can add some more dates to there so that this will dry and i think sort let's just look at the time of day yeah just sort out the rest of the inventory tomorrow because i want to uh this is now full so i think um one box for leaves and one box for coconuts just for now but let's just um let me see, it was raining, wasn't it? So we may as well just drink all of this because it will evaporate otherwise. And we did have a bunch of cooked food. Uh, which will also go bad if we don't eat it, so we may as well. And then sleep until tomorrow. So now it's morning, we can make this without risk of injury. So let's do that. Oops, sorry for the delay. Uh, doorbell rang there. Um, so I think what I was saying, I was going to use this for coconuts. Coconuts are pretty heavy. And we've probably got more coconuts than we'll ever use already. And then just keep that for leaves. All right, so these go in there. Uh, snake potion, I guess that can go in there for now. Food items go in here. Now, the bamboo stick, we wanted to make a... Let's just go to blueprints here. So we need three bamboo sticks, firstly. Now, 
No, sorry, that's a bandolier. We want the palm juice maker. So we need a coconut flask and a liana. So we don't need three bamboos. Looking at the wrong thing there. Um, all right, so we want that and that. Quickly make a rope. We need to grab one of these coconuts. And it's going to be another rope, isn't it? So let's do that. Blueprints rope. Craft. Ripe coconut blueprints. Coconut flask. Craft. Now we should be able to make that, yes, but we would need to place it. So let's see, do we want to take the carp on this one? Uh, probably not, because it's, you see, what's the time of day? Yeah, let's take the carp, because every time I don't take it, I end up getting overweight and wishing I'd taken it. Because once we make the palm juice collector, we need somewhere to put it. And there's a um, palm tree over on the beach here. And that's going to give us another survival point. Now, if we look here, top one. Oh, we've already got three. Um, oh, we didn't learn the second one, did we? So let's do that. Okay. Well, now we have. So we need another two survival points, and then we can get the third one. The third one's probably the most useful. That dog has respawned. I can hear him. Yeah, he's up there on the right. We'll get him on the way back. So what we really need to do is go on an obsidian run. And I think we're going to prepare for that, or prepare to do that, in the next episode. So we're going to need a few things. Among them is um, an axe, but also a sleeping bag. Because it tires you out as soon as you start using, um, as soon as you start mining. So this is what we wanted. So firstly, yes, let's take all that. And then let's go blueprints, palm juice collector place, and there we go. But we need an axe, and we do have that and uh, a stick, so let's make an axe. Done. And one survival point. And this will now fill up with uh, palm juice. So every time we come by here, we can just drink the palm juice. So we could place as many of those as we wanted. So it says, collects juice. This tree has a lot of juice. They do run out if you, um, after a while, but then it restocks. So anything else we want to do while we're over here um, today? Perfect world, we really do need um, long sticks. So I'm going to head over this direction because I know we can get some over here. It's past the obsidian. But seeing as we're over this way anyway, so if we run into that snake again, because it will have respawned. Is that pig back yet? Yes, he is. Okay. That's another option. Uh, to go for that pig because we are going to need uh, the tendons, more tendons that is. Yeah, let's do this. Oop, snake, where is he? Otherwise we're just going to run in. Oop, there he is. But we didn't get poisoned again. Hmm. That's obviously just a percentage chance of that happening. Okay, let's just go and pig straight ahead. So last time he saw us before we saw him. Let's see if we can do something about that. I can hear him. And there is a bonus for headshot, so if we could get a headshot on him, that would 
be nice. But he should be on our left. Yeah, there he is. Okay, let's see if we can catch him. Oh, right in the noggin. Perfect. Well, I think another arrow is going to turn him. Oh. Oops. Run! Uh, I think that registered as a little bit of a panic there, because I was crouching, not running. But uh, anyway, he's down. Take care of this guy. How many arrows do we now have? Let's just go tab nine. So we kind of lost one along the way there. Yeah, this is what V now gives us. We have the um, we can follow the tracks, and it shows us where bodies are. So I don't see any other arrows around. But anyway, we're going to be having obsidian arrows soon enough, so let's um, not worry about that. But let's go and um, at least grab those tendons off the pig. Because that's one of the things that we are going to see that we have a huge need for. Not so much the skins, because um, we'll be finding enough of those, but tendons are going to be the um, sticking point. We don't need any more boar tusks. Um, boar hide, that's more for just decoration around the base. We'll be doing that later, not now. Meat, not really. Um, so I think it's just those four things for today, but we do need a cutter, so let's make one. So blueprints, cutter, craft. So that and these, just leave it there, I think. And level one skinning. Uh, we'll destroy that later. This has now... Okay, we'll deal with all this later. Because what I really want to do is, if we can do this before nightfall, let's go get some more long sticks. But it's going to be a bit tight because we're going to run into a jackal. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. But we'll see. And we will, in fact, be able to pick up one piece of obsidian, I think. Because I think the mine is just here on the right-hand side. I think there's one loose piece that we could just grab. Yeah, there we go. And we've got another big stone here, but what we would really like to do is deal with this jackal. As far as I know, it's the only jackal in the game which doesn't respawn. So once it's dead, it's dead. And then we can run around here at our heart's content. There he is. Because he's quite a long shot. Um, let's see. It's going to be a dip on the arrow. Don't move. Oh, got him. He'll be dead. Because he's going to bleed out now. Well, let's map here anyway. Alright. All right, there's a jackal there, so that will tell us if and when he dies. But while he is bleeding out, there are a couple of other things we could grab here. That is these oranges, which don't take any time, don't require any tool usage. So there's a dog over there as well, which um, I guess we could use him for some target practice. Let's just 
to see how close we can get. So the jackal's still alive somewhere. Don't know where. I'm guessing it will bleed out, no guarantee, but let's see if we can just clip this guy. Nope. And again, don't move. Too short. There. Nope, too long. Out of stamina. I don't see the jackal. Let's see, how's our stamina? Is it back? Oh, there's the dog. Don't move. Oof, just to the left. Just to the right, I mean. Finally. <clears throat> All right, let's go down and grab him. And let's arm up in case that jackal's still around. And grab that heavy stone. So this is where the V, holding the V, is in really handy because you find your arrows very, very quickly. How many is that? Eight. Oh, well, if we lost any, it's not that many. This is, uh, these trees just give you sticks, which is not what we're after. It's those trees up there, I think, which give you long sticks. Now, we've got 17.9. Um, I think seven more stones there, and that's the end of our day. Now, is the jackal dead? No. It's probably worth... He's going to be low health somewhere. There he is. So he might take a nip out of us here. No, I think he's injured enough that he's running away. Which means we can just do this. <laughs> And he gives us two tendons and a bone, which is all good. But we need a cutter. Um, let's make one. So I think, yeah, we've got a high chance of injury here, but uh, we don't want to have to come back. So I think we have to do this. Jackal fangs. I don't remember there being a use for that in the game yet. Uh, but let's go there. Yep, we are injured. Okay. Well, we've got the med back at the um, back home for that. Not a problem. But yeah, we need to come back here and um, mine more level three athletics. Nice. We need to come back here with a pickaxe and um, start going at that obsidian. Let's see what weight are we? Thirty-three. There's the cart. There it is. So we got enough room for this, this, and this. And let's head home. Alright, see when I'm at home. Just back at the cave, uh, sorted out the inventory a little bit, uh, but still got a ways to go. So the first thing that we can do with all of these new tendons is this, except place, and we've got this chance of injury thing again. Now, we did get injured um, getting that jackal, didn't we? But if we just go to statuses, we've got this minor cut. And it just tells us that we need uh, this steamed leaf bandage. And we do have one. Let's do that. And I think the best thing we can do is sleep until tomorrow. And then we'll figure out what to do next. Because we did pick up this piece of obsidian. If we go blueprints, then there are a bunch of things we can do. Like a saw, but uh, mainly the obsidian arrows. But if we make those, we're only going to have three. But we can also start to think about uh, the axe blade. But I think what, what we need to do tomorrow is just go for an obsidian run where we hit the three available mines up there and uh, grab a bunch of obsidian and then upgrade thereafter. Meantime, just going to eat, drink, go to bed, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. And um, thanks for watching. I'm going to end the episode here, and I hope to see you for the next installment. Bye.